Welcome back to Honor Football. Today's unboxing of first impression video is on the new Nike VaporKnit 2 football gloves sent over from my partners at eastbay.com. Nike released the VaporKnit football gloves three years ago. These are technically the VaporKnit 2s, even though on the package they just say VaporKnit skill glove. And so one thing we're going to find out uh, in this review, after I give you guys my first impression, is how are these different from the original VaporKnit gloves. These are the original special edition ones that came out around the Super Bowl. Um, you can see that they're kind of worn in. They even have a tear in them because of the knit material. Um, these last year were renamed the VaporKnit 2s. They looked identical to the original VaporKnit football gloves. And so in this video, I'm going to try to do my best to see if there's any updates, any differences. I wish I had the original packaging so I can tell if they changed what was written on the back. I've kind of done some recon to try to figure it out. As usual, I'm going to start with what Nike has put on the back of the packaging and see if we can see anything there. First, breathable knit allows cooling airflow. That was kind of the whole theme. When Vapor Knit came out, it was all about trying to have an ultra premium glove that was very strong, very durable, very form-fitting, complete range of motion, breathable, just like your all around, your best skill, best receiver glove. That was the intention. Some people like them, some people don't. These Vapor Knits, here's the original, they stretch. We're gonna open this up. We wanna see how they stretch. So they don't stretch too much, but you can see that the mesh stretches. So you can see how those holes open up, how they stretch a little bit, but it's not as stretchy as even like the VaporJet 5s that came out. So anyway, back to the packaging. Breathable knit allows cooling airflow. Laser sight magnet grip palm helps redirect moisture in variable weather. We'll have to look at it. Now this is new on the VaporKnit 2s. I never noticed this before, so this might be on the Vaporin 2s that also came out last year. So Vaporin 2s came out last year. This is a brand new colorway for 2018. They have about seven different colors on eastbay.com, but they also have last year's version as well. So I don't know if last year's version has this palm. I would assume so, since they're also Vaporin 2s. But you can see the differences in the palm. There's actually almost like a tire, different tread patterns that wipe away moisture. So that'll be something exciting to test out. There's the only glove that I know of to do that. These ones don't. These are just a flat silicone palm. So that's one update uh, that we can confirm between the new VaporKnit 2s and the VaporKnit 1s. Fingertip caps create a lockdown feel. So I just mentioned the fingertip caps. They had that on these gloves as well. You can see them here. Now the fingertip caps are a little bit different on these special edition ones. Uh, you can see that these have kind of two stripes to still maintain some of that range of motion. Uh, same thing here, it's kind of two, and these ones have kind of that traditional synthetic material, kind of like the Vapor Jets on the fingertips. So that's another update that they we can confirm that Nike made. Another thing that I'm hoping that Nike did update in this is the mesh. The mesh, now on the special editions that I have, as you saw, is not as stretchy as it could be. And I think that would have improved the glove. I think that's something that I may have talked about back in my review that I did about three years ago. So now, we're going to take this out of the package, going to test them on, see what they look like, see how some of the updates feel uh, when we talk about the fingertip caps and the tread and see if they updated the mesh. So now that I've put on both of these, I can really say that they feel very similar. It doesn't feel like the mesh is any different. It still has that very locked in feel. It's not as, it doesn't feel as lightweight as the Vapor Jets. I'll tell you guys that right now. It is gonna be lighter weight. You are gonna have more breathability, but because of how tight they are on the hands without that spandex uh, stretchy material on the back of hand, you are gonna get a tighter fitting glove. These gloves do feel different, maybe because this glove is not broken in, and you know I've been using these, so it, these just may not be broken in. I'm gonna have to test that out. But for right now, uh, these feel really secure on the hand, a, a little tight, um, a little restrictive um, with in the range of motion of the ball field, which again, the VaporKnit is supposed to give you the maximum range of motion. Now, uh, when I read the descriptions of these online, it did say that the VaporKnit 2s were pre-curved, um, a lot like motorcycle gloves, you know, so that pre-curve reduces hand and finger fatigue because when you're catching the ball, your hands are like this. So if they pre-curve the gloves, your hands are held in shape like this where you don't have to hold it yourself. I definitely feel that pre-curvature in the new glove, 
But again, because these are already broken in, I'm not sure if that's something that will kind of go away after I break these in, if it just feels tight overall. So that's something that I'll be looking for um, in the glove. I'm, I'm, again, really excited to test out these in the wet. See if this helps because a lot of gloves are not great in the wet. Not the new style with the silicone palms are not great in the wet. I chose this style because it's green and gold and it's very pretty unique. You're not going to see this a lot. It's not like too flashy out there, but it definitely gives you gives you some flair. Again, like I said, check out the link in the description uh, for eastbay.com if you can't wait for the full review for, for you to get these gloves. If you already know you like vapor knits and you want to just see the different colors, there's 14 different colorways on eastbay.com. Seven of the new ones, seven of the old ones. New ones, $60. The older ones from last year that are still vapor knit 2s are $45. So if you like those colors, you may be able to get a steal. Personally, I think the new colors are better. So anyway, that's my first impression of these gloves. Um, definitely have always loved the vapor knit. Some of my favorite gloves, all things considered. So maybe I'll even like these better. But that's my unboxing. If you liked this video and you thought it was helpful, give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, check out the link, and I'll see you guys next time.